So you've found a property you'd like to make an offer on through your At Realty agent. At Realty uses a revolutionary online offer management software known as click to buy click to buy is very simple, it's very straightforward, and it allows for all information to be delivered to everyone involved in a sales transaction at the click of a button. I'm going to take you through the registration process now. So either your At Realty agent will have registered you directly, or they'll have sent you to this link to sign up as a potential buyer. Simply fill out your name, your email address, and your phone number, hit submit, and that will be delivered to your agent. Once they've approved you, you'll receive an email with a link to a registration page. Once you're here, we'll be asking you to register using a simple password that you make up. Now a tip here, this is a password that you'll be using a number of times. So make it simple, make it easy to remember, and make it something that is not too complicated. If your agent has allowed conditions on the sale, you'll be asked to tick which conditions apply to you and your offer. In some circumstances, you may see credit card details. If your agent has decided to use this option, we'll be asking you to fill out your credit card details in order for registration. Now, don't worry, no money gets taken from your credit card. It simply enacts a pre-authorization that allows the agent to verify your identity using your credit card information. Once your registration has been complete, that pre-authorization will automatically void and as I say, no money will be taken from your account. Once you've completed those steps, check the box to say that you've read the terms and conditions and register for the sale. Once you've registered for the sale, you'll be taken through to a sale page. And it's from here you can start to make your offers. Put in the price that you wish to offer and put in your password. Hit the place offer button and you'll be asked to verify the offer amount. Hit OK and that information will be instantly delivered both to your agent and to the owner of the property. From the agent's point of view, they'll have a number of options. They'll either be able to accept your offer or in the case where they're negotiating and the owner is after a little bit more than what your initial offer is, they can place a counter offer. A counter offer is simply an indication of what the vendor will accept and starts the negotiation process rolling. Once they've placed their counter offer, you'll be notified via email and obviously it will show up on your sale page. From there, you too have a choice to either accept the offer or again, you can place a new offer and continue that negotiation process. If there are any additional buyers, they'll be able to see the offer history and they'll have an opportunity to submit their own offers. If they do submit their own offers, the sale will transition into a multiple offer and you'll be able to openly and very transparently compete for the property until such time as a highest price is found. If there is a timer on the screen, just be aware that you need to act within the timeframes that have been indicated on your screen by your agent. Not all sales have timers, but in a lot of cases, the agents put the timers in place to ensure that sales don't drag on for an inordinate period of time. I wish you the best of luck with your sale. If you have any additional questions, feel free to contact your at Realty agent directly and good luck.